In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a progress donor chart, which simply is used to show the percent of completion. So let's say you're working on a project, and this project has several tasks, which has to be completed uh, for the project to be through. And in this case, you simply want to create a view that you want to present to, let's say, the executive to show what percent of the tasks has been completed you can use uh, a progress donut chart to do that. And to enable me to demonstrate this to you, what I've done, I've created this dummy data, whereby we have some dummy tasks, for example, writing a blog post, we assume that is a task of a project, uh, creating a video blog, creating a presentation website, or rather updating the website, uh, creating a workbook of these. So those are the various tasks. And on the right side, or rather on the second column, you can see what percent of these uh, tasks, or rather these imaginary tasks, has been completed. And therefore, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this data in Tableau and show you how you can create a progress donor chart to show the percent of completion of these tasks. And to do that, you can see I've already connected my data here. You can see the tasks and the percent complete. So let me head over to a new worksheet to show you that. And the first thing that I'm going to do to create my donor chart is to create a new calculated field. And let's call this calculated field uh, difference. Or rather, this calculation will be returning uh, the proportion which is remaining to hit the target, or rather the difference between 100 and the percentage complete. And to compute that difference, what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to take one minus the percent complete, which basically will be giving me the difference. And you can tell that by simply coming here to the view data, whereby you can see from this table, the difference computation is returning uh, the proportion that is remaining to hit the target or rather simply the difference between 100 and the percent done. And now we're going to use these two measures to create the progress donor chart. And to do that, first of all, let me introduce a placeholder, simply double click on the rows and enter a zero. So this is simply a placeholder. Next, I'll go to max card and select pie chart. Let me duplicate the view by simply holding control on the keyboard and drag sum of zero next to the rows. Next, I'll convert this one to a dual axis by simply coming here and select dual axis, then synchronize the axis. And lastly, I'm going to clear all these unnecessary marks. Just right click on the view, go to format. And first I'm going to come to borders, simply to remove the row divider and also the column divider. Something else that I need to remove is the zero axis by simply coming to lines. And at the zero lines, let me select none. And lastly, let me hide this and check show header and check show header. And now to create my progress donor chart, I'm simply going to select one of these two uh, pie charts. So in this case, let me select this one. And I'm going to drag uh, the measure values to the anchor and the measure names to color. Let me remove the count sheet from the view. And now lastly, what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to make this chart or rather the chart at the back a little bit larger by coming to size, increase its size and make uh, the chart on the front. I'm going to change the background color to be the same as the worksheet background. In this case, my worksheet is white, so let me change the color to white. And lastly, I'm going to label my view, so let me drag percent complete to this chart, or rather to the chart on front, which is the second chart, so I'm going to drag percent complete to label. Let's format it, and in this case, change to percent one decimal place. And now what we have is a progress donor chart. However, this one is aggregated for all the tasks. 
So let's break it down by simply dragging task to columns. And now you can see we've broken the view by the different task. And now you can see the percent completed as far as creating workbooks is 35, website 96, video blog 20, as well as you can be able to see the rest of percentages. And lastly, you can edit the colors to match uh, your report theme. So for this case, let me just edit the difference and choose a different color. Uh, let me choose this one and click OK. And now I've created a simple progress donor chart that you can use to show the percent uh, of tasks complete uh, in a certain project. Thanks, everyone.